Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball ticket stubs, but check out my man in the red shirt right there. He is about to have the mascot autograph his shoe. He has got his shoe in his hand, and he is about to get it autographed. A lot of these kids are getting their shirts signed, their ticket stubs. My man right here is about to get his shoe signed. Here we go. Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here, and in today's video, we've got some autographs through the mail, TTMs. We've got four of them, and we're going to open up yet another pack from our Series 2 Mega Box. This will be pack number nine. <clears throat> As always, we will start with a TTM. The first one is from San Juan, Puerto Rico. And we have got Ray Canonez. He signed three of three in 48 days. He had a career batting average of 243 with 29 home runs, 159 RBIs. He played four years. He, play, he played in 451 games. He played from 86 to 89. He played with Boston, Seattle, and Pittsburgh. Um, in 87 with Seattle, he had 12 home runs. 56 RBIs, and he batted 276. And a fun fact about Mr. Ray Canonez is he once missed a game because he was playing Nintendo in the clubhouse. And he missed the game. Ray Canonez. <laughs> All right, our second return is from St. Louis, Missouri. And we have got Mr. Scott Terry. He signed four of four in 49 days. He had a career record of 24 and 28 with a 373 ERA. He played six years. He played in 236 games. He played from 86 to 91. He played with Cincinnati and St. Louis. <laughs> in 1988 with St. Louis, he went nine and six with a 292 ERA and three saves. And Scott Terry, when he graduated high school, he was drafted, or when he graduated high school, he was only five foot five. And in college, he, he grew another six inches. And when he was drafted, he was drafted as an outfielder. And he struggled in the minors as an outfielder. And he came into pitch a couple of times, like when the team was getting blown out. And because he was struggling so bad as an outfielder, the coach said, hey, let's try you out as a pitcher. And next thing you know, he started advancing pretty quick through the system and he made it to the major leagues as a pitcher. Pretty good story, I thought. All right, our next return is from St. Paul, Minnesota. And we have got Mr. Gary Lucas. He signed two of three in 11 days. He had a career record of 29 and 44 with a 3.01 ERA. He also had 63 saves. He played eight years, appeared in 409 games. He played from 80 to 87. And he played with San Diego, Montreal, and California. Um, his best year was in 1983 with San Diego when he had five wins, 17 saves, and a 2.87 ERA. Gary Lucas. 
I think I sent him three cards before, and he only signed two. So if you're going to send a Gary Lucas, I wouldn't send more than two. All right, before we get to our last return, let's go ahead and tear into this pack. And as always, we are looking for something good. And we're starting off with Anthony Santander. Leading the league, leading the Orioles with home runs with in home runs and RBIs this year. Uh, we have Owen Miller, Whit Merrifield, Yamamoto. We got pro, uh, postseason prominence, Connor Phillips, Joe Boyle, Cody Funderburk, Nick Madrigal, DJ Stewart. We got a future star of Mr. Tovar. We have Romy Gonzalez. And we have got Tristan McKenzie with some flash on it. Mr. Sticks. And then we've got stars of MLB, Trey Turner. We're going to leave Mr. Santander on top. Because he is absolutely killing the ball the last two months. All right, and our last return is from Phoenix, Arizona. We have got Mr. Terry Kennedy. He signed three of three in nine days. He had a career batting average of 264 with 113 home runs, 628 RBIs. He played 14 years. He appeared in 1,491 games. He played from 78 to 91. He played with St. Louis, St. Di San Diego, Baltimore, and San Francisco. He was a four-time All-Star. He was an All-Star in 81, 83, 85, and 87. In 1983, he finished 10th in the MVP voting, and he also won a Silver Slugger that year. In that year, he went, he hit 17 home runs, knocked in 98, and batted 284. And the year prior to that, 1982, Finished 14th in the MVP voting, but he had his best numbers when he hit 21 home runs, knocked in 97, and batted 295. That is Mr. Terry Kennedy. And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.